So we're, we're going to um, go ahead and open up the question and answer. What I'm going to do is I'm going to point to everybody, and as we point, please say your name and who you're with, and then ask your question, and um, we'll go from there. So... I'll let, I'll, wait, I'll let him get out the way first. Okay. <laughs> All right, no, uh, I'm Benny from Benny614TV.com. Um, my first question was actually to go back uh, what you were saying was sometimes that um, there's artists that win that you say yourself that necessarily shouldn't have won. Um, so basically making the awards more of a popularity contest as opposed to who has the best body of work. Do you feel that that like the format that you guys are using is the most effective way or have you ever considered having a panel of like uh, accredited judges to make sure the winner is the whoever has the best body of work instead of just who's the most popular? Yeah. Question. Um, question. Great question. Yeah, we, we feel <laughs> this question before so I have a great answer. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, but uh, you know, it is a good question and, and it, if you know the people out there didn't hear it, basically you know, he was asking you know, by people just winning on the basis of who gets the most votes, um, is, is it more so a popularity contest as opposed to, you know, have we considered getting a panel to award people? We consider getting a panel every year. You know, it's something that we debate back and forth every year. You know, we've been very close to doing it, uh, you know, at times, and we just haven't done it yet. Uh, not to say that, it, that that might happen in the future. Uh, it's something that we go back and forth with. Uh, but at the end of the day right now, where we're at with it is we feel like, I want to clarify something that you said too. You said that, we're trying to paraphrase me, that I feel, I know there's people that I feel shouldn't have won. I'm not saying that they should not have won. I'm saying in my opinion, they weren't the best who I would have picked to won. I think everybody, everybody who won should have won because they got the most votes. Um, and, you know, how do you go about getting those votes? You know, I feel like at the end of the day, you know, some people can say, yeah, it's just a popularity contest, but, uh, you know, to be successful in this business, you have to be very popular. You know what I'm saying? You have to create a following. You have to create a fan base, and you have to create people who, a movement that people believe in and that they buy into. So, uh, you know, there are people who I don't consider very talented, but who have found a way to create that following and create that movement. And, you know, they... I just I think they deserve to be rewarded for that because at you know also you know who when you create this panel then you're gonna then it's gonna be people who say well why does that person deserve to be on the panel why did y'all pick that person why am I not on the panel you know you're gonna have that so you're gonna have some you know either way it's gonna be some debate back and forth um, but right now we're comfortable with the structure whereas we feel that if you're really doing your work if you're really out here grinding if you're really getting it in with your with your material uh, I feel that. The business, because one of our premises is the business structure of, of, of the entertainment industry. We're trying to educate people on those best practices as far as business. We know we have the talent already. We need, what we need is to get more of a business structure and more business learning and acumen in the game. So we feel that people who, okay, might not be as talented, subjective, as somebody else, if they have found a way to get people to buy into what they're doing and buy into their movement by coming out, whether it's votes or coming to a show and spending money to see them or, or whatever the case may be, that is a talent. That is a skill. And it's an essential skill and talent to be successful in this business. And so I think, you know, you could debate it back and forth all day. Me personally, and I'll let these other guys touch on it if they want. I think that, you know, I'm very comfortable with overall who wins the awards and who doesn't because what I feel or a panel feels might be the most talented, might not, I mean, it's all subjective. So it, it might not be what this person feels or that person feels. You know, I watch the Grammys and I'm like, how the hell did that person win? They got a panel. You know, so I feel like, you know, democracy is the best option right now. So we just let the people speak and let the people's voices be heard. So whoever can get the most people behind them. I think. Usually, usually the most talented people get the most people to buy into what they're doing. Usually, because most people are not going to buy into people who aren't very talented. So, you know, uh, I don't that's know about how I feel that. about it. Yeah. I, that's yeah, how I, I feel about it. You know what I mean? I, 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 again, saying that I think that getting people to buy into it is a talent. You know, so I think getting people to buy into whatever you're doing, whatever your movement is a skill, is a talent, and it's essential in being successful in this business.
And so we're about being successful in this business and again, going back to our premise, creating an infrastructure for wealth. You can't create wealth if you don't have nobody there. You could be the best lyricist in the world. If nobody comes to your show and nobody knows about you, you're not getting paid. You're not going to be successful in this business. So you can rap in your, in your basement forever or you can find a way to use your talent and create that business partnership to be successful and get out here and get as many people to know how talented you are. I think that's essential. Also, um, you know, we do, outside of just the voting premise, we do do our research on each artist. And we do, uh, you know, we reach out to radio stations, program directors, DJs, producers, etc., to, you know, find out who they think might have the talent. And, you know, there's a lot of people that might, you know, say it to your face, but, you know, they'll give you the truth. Oh, well, I think, you know, style is hot. Some people might say, I don't think he's hot. Okay, so we're gonna go to the next question. Okay, um, let me ask one more question because uh, I've been here for a few hours. I'm ready to go. <laughs> so uh, no, not to. I mean, not to make it any more like uncomfortable or whatnot. But uh, <laughs> I just want to know you guys like how you will respond. Not saying any names of any artists or whatnot, but to rumors from a uh, a former winner of an award that they are able to pay somebody off to get an award. Um, and I just want to know your response to those rumors that are surfacing from a former winner. Um, let me make sure I'm clear on your question. Are you saying that this person said that they paid us to win their award? Yes. Wow. <laughs> I mean, I, I, the only response I can do is laugh at that. You know what I mean? Because, I, I mean, if, if somebody, it's, it's funny that people are so quick to say something to somebody, but it's anonymous. It's off the record. You know what I mean? I will sit here on the record and say unconditionally that has never happened under any circumstances with any award that we have ever awarded. So, and my name is D. Loran Jackson. I live in Cleveland, Ohio. You know what I'm saying? He's about to give y'all the yeah, yeah, Right. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you, you, you know what I'm saying? You can find me. So, whoever that person is, you know, be a man. Pluck your chest out. Show your face and come here and, and, and challenge us. To, to, that's the truth because, I mean, it's ridiculous. So we hear ridiculous, crazy conspiracy theories all the time. You know, you're going to get that. And, you know, it, at first it was kind of difficult for me to deal with because, you know, I want to protect the brand and I'm such a champion of, of what I do. We put so much into trying to have, you know, the utmost integrity with what we are doing. And so once I saw that it, it's going to happen and it's going to happen more and more and as it grows, it happens more. You know, and conversations amongst me and my partners and just talking to people that, you know, you know, that, that mentored me, you know, it's, it's, it's an old adage, you know what I'm saying? If, if, if people are not talking about you, then you're not doing nothing. If you don't have haters, then you're not doing the right thing. And, you know, the more haters you get, the more, the, the better you're doing. And, you know, that, that's just the only way I can look at it. You know, they have to, you know, if you, I think it's very cowardice to sit there and tell somebody that off the record and not approach me to my face right. and in public and we can get it in and, and we can flush it out and, and, and show some facts. Where, where are your facts? Where's your empirical evidence? You know what I'm saying? Make it be known. You know, because other than that, it's just it's just rumors. It's just innuendo. It's just hate. Okay. Disappointed that that's a winner that said that. That's crazy because... Wow. Uh, and that's why I think they would want to <clears throat> remain anonymous because they probably wouldn't want to you know, put you guys on blast if they well, won. So but they, the thing is, is that if they, if they, if they why would they be proud they, that they paid us to win an award, though? You know what I'm saying? So I won an award, uh, I paid for it. So you happy that? So, so you're just <laughs> invalidating your own self and your own movement. Man, His whole so attitude just changed when you <laughs> asked that question. I mean, that's crazy. That's, it's, 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 it's a lot of different things. But it, I mean, we hear so much stuff, and I mean, you just got to keep it in a great, in a great uh, uh, sense. We got probably ten to twelve thousand artists in Ohio by itself. It's going to be forty-three winners. So that's about it. It's going to be some people mad. He's a winner. <laughs> that's <laughs> great. He said he won. Wow. And he paid for it. That, that's the first for me that somebody said they won. I've Same heard people say that. Too, I love you, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what I mean? We'll get you a certificate. No and less than a thousand dollars, please. <laughs> and uh, we don't take checks, money orders. Only in cash. <laughs> <laughs>